Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about. <laughs> hey, see. <laughs> Bro, I'm very serious, bro. Oh, no, it's true. Yes, okay, it's true. Okay, 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 again, again. Okay. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the first series of our podcast. So today we will unveil D15's new launches, the three gems, a comprehensive analysis just for you. Yeah. So today we will be covering three condos, uh, namely Tembusu Grand, Grand Dunman, and the Continuum. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So yep. in this podcast, we're gonna break down into three different parts: uh, the macro view, the micro view, and also the exit strategy for each of the condominiums. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So my name is Josh, uh, and I'm Grayson, and I'm Bud. Okay. Okay. So let's dive right in. Let's go yes. in. Let's go. Let's go. Right now, so now we're diving into the uh, macro analysis. Okay. So from the past ten years, you can see that the RCR region uh, has made between twenty eight. To thirty four percent. What is RCR? RCR is the rest of call center region. Oh, yeah, so there's CCR, RCR, and OCR. So CCR is call center region. Uh, RCR is rest of call center region, and the outside center region is OCR. Oh, so we are the center lah. Mm. We are the middle the, area lah. Oh, we are the middle area. Uh, okay. Middle area. <laughs> so it's clear uh, like it, according to the statistics, uh, the graph that the past ten years, if you had bought a piece of property in the RCR, you have made uh, around thirty percent. Yeah, it's, mm. it, yeah. Mm. Then what okay. about the two lines? Yeah, why got red and green one? So basically, <coughs> the two lines also it just shows that. Yeah, okay, uh, just so if you see the red line, right, it's basically the performance, the growth, uh, before the three gems actually launched. So the green line actually represents the growth of the entire RCR after the new launches actually uh enter the market, mm. yeah. Okay, so for the red line, for the red line is until see, March. The red line is until March uh, this year. Yep. The green line is until now, la, date, basically date. today. La. Yeah. So if you have held on for that three months, you will earn extra 6%. Uh, hey, but this RCR is encompassing all. Eh. Like, so ah, yeah, you yeah, are yeah, reserved yeah. also. Free yeah, so this yeah. is under RCR. It's not, it's not mm. uh, the, the condo itself. Yeah, yeah, correct. So if there's any new launches that launch between March till now, yeah. uh, so that, that, that growth is yeah. mainly... Yeah, so basically as a region, region, as a region, <laughs> it... it, it it made six percent. So moving on to the next slide, we we are looking at the District Fifteen. So mm. District Fifteen is within RCR itself, and uh, for the past ten years, if you had bought a property into D Fifteen, you know your chances are that you will get a, a more than forty percent. Mm. So just nice, the three condo that we are talking about today is in D Fifteen also, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Right. Oh, that's a very good gain, ah. Uh. Mm. That's a good gain. Okay. Yeah. So next, uh, just a recap of uh, where are these three condominiums are uh, located at. So over here, you can see the location map of these three uh, condos. So actually, they are quite close apart, la, like within the yeah. uh, yeah, within close nearby. vicinity, la, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Tembusu Grand is at Jalan Tembusu. Mm. Uh, Grand Daman is at Daman Road. Yep. And then the Continuum is at the Tiam Siu Avenue. Yeah. So towards the north side of these three de developments is actually Paya Lebar MRT. Mm. Then on the east side is actually the lifestyle shop houses. And towards the north side, we have a lot of, uh, we have the East Coast Park. Mm. And towards the west side is actually CBD. Yes. Wow, yep. So actually, very centralized. Like it's it's very convenient yeah. area to be in. Yeah. yeah. Basically, you can live, work, and play Correct. within the district itself. Right. Yep. Yep. And yeah. Not only that, because it got public transports yeah. nearby, and also yeah. there's very good primary schools for the for the for the parents to choose from. Oh yes, the the schools. Mm. Yes. Also got got top schools within the area as well. So this area is uh, quite special. Yep. So there's a Leonard and Cliff at the southern side, right, Grayson? Yeah, yeah. You see the the red lines that are demarcated, right? Yeah. It's actually the the landed enclaves. Mm. Yeah. So basically, they are actually bungalows and semi D's or mm. like terrace houses. Mm. So you see towards the east side, right, where the shop houses are, right, mostly there are also landed enclaves. Mm. Yeah. So you see, if your development is actually just right nearby there, right, is is you really got a very unblocked uh, mm. view, like a very breezy. It doesn't block your sunlight. You, you might have sea view as well. Can yeah. I mean, safe to say of that. Course, right. Of course, of yeah. course. Depending on what block and what stack you are at, yep. I, I believe. But I believe some really have a very mm. good view. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And also, I think at, if you look at the southern side, also there's a uh, quite a number of uh, new MRTs coming up. So it's oh, going to yeah, enhance yeah. connectivity throughout this uh, whole area. Yeah. In D15. Tanjung Katong MRT. Yeah. Mm. Tanjung Katong MRT. Completing in year two four, right? 
So this development's gonna be TOP way after two four. So yeah. Mm. So by by the time you TOP, there'll be MRT there waiting for correct, you. Correct, correct. So correct. it's not up and coming. It's gonna yeah. be built. Yeah. 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 So the pricing now you need to consider that like when you buying now the con the the MRT is not there yet. So the prices are all very reasonable right now if you think about it. Mm. Yeah. So you can just imagine if the MRTs are up. Yep. Yeah, your prices are definitely going to yeah. well. go up as well. It's going to go up as well. Well, actually, I can see why people like D15. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Like, towards the, the east, you have lifestyle shop houses. Towards the south, there's a, there's a beach. Yep. Towards the west, there's a CBD where you can go to work. And towards on top to the north, uh, the Paale Bar side, uh, there's actually four major malls instead of one. Eh. Mm. So basically, if you want shopping, uh, just go to that. Bar, mm. then you mm-hmm. got, got you covered mm. Mm. like everything yeah. from food to shopping to your groceries I think to massage to uh, everything uh. yeah it got you covered yeah. plus it's circle line Movie. if you don't like you can go to, <laughs> you go to anywhere you know yeah Yeah. post office right right mm. yeah wow this, this location is perfect <laughs> <laughs> yeah now we'll move on to the facilities okay so for, for the facilities we are just uh, we're not going to cover the common facilities like swimming pool and, unless it's special la. Mm. so what we're going to cover now is like what are unique facilities uh, for these condominiums oh unique right? ah. yeah. yeah unique f- facilities that you don't usually find other condom- condominiums one. Yeah. so in Tembusu Grand itself we have the, the indoor facilities right we have a co-working area a kids playroom and a yoga studio which can you can book and use la. Right, you guys use co living or your your clients use co living areas. Mm, I think yeah. co working space is very very uh, important co, nowadays. Co yeah. working co working space, yeah, uh. because because of the space of a condominium, maybe they they just want a, a space outside their unit. Yeah, you know where you work, where you sleep is di- properly divided and segregated. Yeah, so if they want to work, then you can go to the co working space. Co-working, then you just yeah. put your kids in the indoor cl- kids playroom. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, all indoor, I got aircon eh. Yeah, oh, especially icon. right oh, now oh, also oh. like a lot of the employments also like people work in hybrid mode, right? So yeah. sometimes they work from home also. Yeah, it's yeah, good yeah, that yeah, they yeah, can yeah, have, yeah. have this space to yeah, work. Yeah, maybe at. more productive. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then there's, a, there's a yoga, you know, usually yoga studio is there the, in, a, in the other developments, it's mm. actually outdoor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this, this yoga is actually a legit, like, you All know, right. class pass, like, like class pass. <laughs> class pass. <laughs> like class pass, like, class pass. 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 Right, Tembusu Grand has got the co-working space, the kids' playroom, and the yoga studio. Mm. For Grand Ma- Grand Dunman, we have commercial shops. So mm. that's not very common. Wow. That's really <laughs> not very common. So uh, Grand Dunman got commercial shops. Four, is it four? Five. 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 Oh, there's five. Eh. Five, five commercial five. shops that's in Grand Dunman. It's going to be really convenient uh, uh, for the residents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you don't need to go to Old Airport Road to, yeah. to, to, to find the supermarket it, there. It, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't need to spend 10 minutes to like, go to buy. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like for your immediate even though it's so near. <laughs> yeah, so it's like for your immediate needs, uh, you yeah, can just correct. go to the commercial shops. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. So so yeah. Grand Dama has commercial shops, it has an 80 meter pool. Alright, so normally swimming pools are 50, 50, meters. 50, meters. Yeah, 50 meters. 50 meters, yeah. 50 meters. So uh, Grand yeah, so Grand Dama has an 80 meter pool and a hydro massage pool. Oh, just right at the end of the pool. Yeah. The hydro massage. It, it looks like, you know what, the fountain of wealth. Yeah. yeah. Of wealth. <laughs> <laughs> now you have uh, your own fountain of wealth inside yeah. your own development. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay. that's, that's, I think good, good, good. Mm. Yeah, above, yeah. above the fountain of wealth, right? The, 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 I heard the gym is very big also. Wow, yeah, you actually can see. Yeah. Yeah, I heard the gym is like four, th- four room flat size. Four room flat size. Oh, four room flat size. Yeah, I heard it's very big. Hmm. That's nice. Some some condos the gyms are quite small. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah but but this, the gym is not the unique thing that we're trying to point mm. out. Yeah, right? that's not a unique. Yeah, thing. It's not so, a unique thing. So what we're talking about the special like in in in, mo- in most condos they don't have. Uh, for con- the continuum, mm. the continuum we have multiple pools. Okay, we have basically four, four pools. Yeah, four, four pools. pools. Four yep. pools, right? And generally speaking, for this condo we have dual facilities. Mm. Right? What, what what does that mean? Dual oh, facilities. Dual facilities are, it's because mm. you see continuum is a very special plot. So mm. there's there's a north side and a south side. So it's divided into one development divided into two different sites. Ah. So yeah, so so yeah, one side each is independent on its own, but yeah. it's mm. connected by a bridge. So mm. if you live on the south side, you 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 have an independent development. So basically, there's there's swimming pool, there's mm. gym, yep. Yep. there's sky bar. Yep. So you replicate that to the north side, then yeah. basically it becomes a dual facility. Mm. Oh. Ah. So, okay. so you have you have twice of the amount of the d- facilities a normal condo yeah. should have. Yeah, I would yeah. say it's a very thoughtful thing that the developers actually do this kind of uh, 
dual facilities, mm. right? Right, it's yeah. multiple choice. Yeah, you don't mm. have to like travel from one uh, north side to the south side just for the facilities. Right, can, yeah. you, imagine, can you imagine if we <laughs> yeah. our guests for the first time? Then until the third time, they still realize, hey bro, this is the same development. Uh. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought different condo, uh, no, the same one. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. another point is the they have a bungalow inside. Mm. So in the continuum, right, is is uh, the O O O is is M blocked by a developer. So last time this is 25 bungalow and semi D's. So mm. they retain one bungalow. Yeah. So this bungalow is actually a library and also a dining dining area. Yeah. So if I, I can what I can think of, right, is it's actually to hold event also, like maybe people ROM, their baby shower or whatnot. Mm. Yeah. You know, this this courtyard is so huge. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, can you imagine <laughs> like this bungalow this condo got a bungalow is 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 pretty nice. Eh? Right. Yeah. Like, you don't need to go outside to find a uh, rent an uh, actual uh, bungalow. Your, mm. your development have already. And yeah. It's also going to be an iconic uh, facility here within the development itself. So why not? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so and one more thing is right, the barbecue pit. Barbecue so, pit. Yeah, so there's six barbecue pit. But of course, there's nothing special about so many barbecue pit, right? But okay, these two out of six of this barbecue pit right, is actually located in a sky garden. So this sky oh. garden, right, the barbecue pit beside there's this resting lounge. So this resting lounge is actually an aircon room. Oh, oh, where do you where do you nice. find where do you find yeah. a barbecue pit beside for <laughs> aircon room? Uh? So you could finish uh, go inside, sit down and chill. Wow. Mm. Wow, it's very neat, eh? Yeah, sounds very like uh, very well thought out. Right, uh, you know usually, right, right. usually <laughs> barbecue you <laughs> sure sweat on. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. sure sweat. Then you the most you can do is just jump into the pool, but this one you don't need ma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Okay. Okay. So that's the facilities for all mm. the three condos that are unique to to, to them. Yeah. Yep. Okay, then uh, next we actually move on to some to share some golden nuggets with you guys, a unique comparison. So for just for today, we are going to compare the three bedroom plus study for you guys. So you can see across these three developments, the three bedroom plus study layouts. So the first one being Grand Dunman, uh, it's measured at 104 square meters or 1,119 square feet. And then uh, Tembusu Grand at 1,173 square feet. And then uh, the continuum is at 1,227 to 1,238 square feet, and then uh, plus 1,249 square feet. So same size lah. About the same size lah, everyone. The <laughs> but the layout you can see lah is a bit different lah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. we drive. Con- continuum is a bit bigger. Continuum is a, a bit bigger. bigger. A yeah. bit bigger. A bit bigger. Yeah. bigger. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred, maybe a hundred. Yeah. Mm. Maybe we go dive a little bit deeper so you can see that uh, the different unit sections here. So we highlighted here the living and dining. So you can take a look. Tembusu Grand is the biggest at 35 square meters. So, uh, and then uh, of course the kitchen and yard. So the continuum, continuum has actually the biggest kitchen and yard with two kinds of three bedroom plus study layout specifically for the kitchen. One is the longitudinal kind and the other one is the L-shape. Oh, yeah. So I can see uh, what about the, the, the kitchen size is, is a, a lot of difference. Uh. Yeah. And so, also, yeah. So yeah, like yeah, ki- I, think, I, think, yeah. I think the reason why is because the living room and the balcony is actually attached to the kitchen. Mm. Can you see the difference? You see yep, yep, Grand yep, yep. and yeah. Tembusu, the balcony is just that small pieces and yeah. it's segregated yeah. away from the yeah. kitchen. But it's linked with the living room. But for continuum, you see a layout. It's actually these three parts: the living and the dining and the kitchen is linked together. Yeah. Mm. So I think so this 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 one layout massive is, one massive balcony. Yeah. Correct. So I think this layout is actually to promote form family bonding, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. So like they 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 create spaces so that families can can sit together, uh, have dinner together, have a balcony, right, right, hang at the balcony, right, right. have a drink together. Yeah. So I think that this this particular spot is the focal point of the the whole 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 ah. house. Yeah. Right, instead of the live the, the bedrooms, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't want you don't want everybody go home just to lock themselves in their own bedroom. Mm, All right, mm, I think that's really nice. So if a, yeah. if you have a, a sizable family, a, a good consideration is this the is the continuum. Mm. Mm, mm, okay, can right? yep. Okay, and then uh, what's special about continuum three bedroom plus study as well is that they have their own private lift and also their lift lobby la. So that's why it makes it a bit uh, mm. bigger. Oh, uh, so like that, Grand Diamond and Temuzu don't have uh, Means Don't continuum have. expensive. Uh. Yeah. So apart from the premium prices as a freehold development, so they also have the private lifts. Lah. So that explains. So later on, we'll actually touch on the prices for these three developments, for these uh, three different types of unit. And then you probably think, lah, so how, what's the available units left lah, ac- uh, across all these three developments? So firstly, we can uh, jump right into Grand Dunmans. So you can take a look. The two stacks has been sold out 
uh, stack 14 and stack 27. Okay. Why do you think uh, they actually sell out very fast uh, for these two stacks? 14 and 27. Uh, uh. But why not the, the other others, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, because of this, this, four, this, this 14 and 27, right, it's actually facing towards the pool. Mm. And then the, the other four stacks, right, is actually facing towards the landed enclave as we showed in the location map just now. Mm. So, see, usually in a typical condo, the inward facing towards the pool is always the, the one that fetch a premium. Mm. Then the outward facing is always cheaper. But for Grand Dama, I think it's always on the flip side. Because the outward facing uh, is gonna be it's gonna fetch a higher premium because it's facing towards the landed, so it's an unblocked view. Yeah. Uh-huh. And potentially it's, it's facing a south, ma, so mm. it's potentially gonna fetch a, a, a sea view, you know, mm. or a yeah. rocket wow. view or something nice. like that. Yeah. yeah, so so maybe that's why um, the, the 14 and 27 maybe is more absorbable for the yeah. market. Mm. That's probably why. Yeah. yeah, the pricing. Right. The pricing and the view. Yeah, people who like inward facing and like, hey, it's cheaper than outward facing, and wow, then it's still, yeah. you know. Yeah. Still. So everybody snatch. Yeah. 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 We can see the so- the units at the southeastern part of the development also selling fast, left with eleven units only. So yeah, if you want to, if you plan to get a, a unit here, yeah, better act fast right now. Yeah. We, yeah. I think after our video, no more, no more. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who knows, right? <laughs> yeah. So next up, we move on to Tembusu Grand. So we can take a look at uh, how much, uh, how many three bedroom. And plus study units available. So we can see that we can see that the best selling stack is actually stack twenty three with only seven units left. Mm. Yeah. Oh. So I'm thinking right because they are gonna they actually have this unblocked view uh, across the tennis court and all the respite section of the development, right? Yeah, I think the the the, the setback is actually wider. Mm. That's why you see mm. the the setback is very wide. So you yeah. see, uh, it's not it's not it's not like twenty seven, just right beside the tennis court and it's facing the road, for example. Then the next one, the next development, we move on to the continuum. So continuum, you can see that they only have uh, four stacks of three bedroom plus study uh, mm. units. Yeah, so you can see it's actually located at the corners of the development. Uh. Yeah, why do you think they do that? Uh? Mm, I think uh, three plus study always at a corner. Mm. It's like a you know, corner terrace for, for a three plus study because it's always yeah. bigger. The mm. center one is always two plus study. The smaller uh, ones, yeah. Mm. yeah. Two bedroom, one bedroom. One bedroom. Yeah, yeah, so the three bedrooms onwards are always usually at the corner. Mm. But of course, this one is also because it's, it's the prestige collection. Um. Yeah, so these two, plo- two, these two particular blocks is actually the prestige collection, what the developer call. Mm-hmm. Then the other four is actually the signature one. So mm. the difference is actually the finishes the flooring and the, mm. the private, private lift. lift uh. The private yeah. lift. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, so you also can see this block, right? The the setback between blocks are actually uh, a bit more wider mm. than the others. Mm. Yeah. So so actually you know this prestigious ma yeah. prestige yeah. Uh, it's more exclusive. Yeah. 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 That's why that's why that's why is is that they have a private lift. Next up, so if you're probably mm. wondering how much are these uh, units costing at for this three bedroom plus study. <laughs> So you can see Tembusu Grand is actually starting from 2.3 kpsf. So in terms of quantum, it's about 2.7 million for a three bedroom plus study. Mm. And then after that, you have Grand Dunman starting from 2.5 kpsf, uh, which is about uh, 2.8 million. And then uh, for Continuum itself, it's from 2.7 kpsf. And also in terms of quantum, it's actually from 3.3 million. So you can take a look uh, between Grand Dunman and also Continuum. Uh. So Continuum being a freehold. So basically, the disparity in terms of the prices based on PSF or Quantum actually is not that high. Mm. Yeah, considering that Continuum itself is also a freehold development. Yeah. Mm. Mm, okay, now, now we're entering the exit strategy. But uh, now we're starting at Grand Dunman. Mm. So Grand Dunman, see right beside right, there's this uh, HDB block called uh, Dakota Crescent. So it's already been in the market for like 30 years, right? Mm-hmm. But I see, they can even fetch at 1 million. Eh. Wow. So can you imagine yeah. oh, if yeah. I'm the seller at HDB, oh, then I want to upgrade to a condo. Then of course, if I lay, stay, in, stay in a Dakota Crescent for like 30 years, I wish to, I mean, I, I, I'm just, I think most buyer will think the same way as I do. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to move somewhere near Dakota also. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's just one development just right nearby. Mm. So of course, once once it top right the Grand Diamond, I think I think it's very it's pretty safe to say that some Dakota Crescent residents gonna be fishing fishing for the units there. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also on top of that, there's this Dakota One and uh, Dakota Breeze. 
uh, is one is under construction, one still haven't reached their MOP. So these two, right, is going to potentially also hit $1 million in sales price. So one day MOP and Grand Diamond TOP, I think it's safe to say that you have a very ready potential buyers. Yes, yeah. you have a ready HDB upgraders. So yeah. you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, having your development not being sell well later on once it's TOP. Yeah, yeah you already yeah. got ready, ready, you, ready you have, buyers. You have ready buyers. Ready mm. qualified buyers. Yeah. Yeah. So that's part of the exit strategy for... Yeah, but of course, there's a lot more HDBs that around there, uh. Correct. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think that's just a part of it. Yeah. You see, yeah. that's you a see, major part. Yeah, of you see, south side, others, yeah. south side, there's there's like landed enclave. Yeah. Mm. Maybe those landed uh, owners they want uh. to right size their uh, units. Or their children need want to buy condo. Right. Correct. Right. 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 So which is very common. Your opportunity is yeah. all around you. Yeah. 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 Very right. common. I, I think that's pretty nice. Okay. Can. Okay. And move on to the next exit strategy. So this one is particularly for Tembusu Grand. Yep. So Tembusu Grand, you see that uh, there is a, there's actually like three parcels of land that is on sale uh, for uh, around the area. So you can see one on top and then uh, two on the south side of the development. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to plots of land, uh, how... How how would you think about it? As in, like you have you have this plot of land, right? And you are selling at this price, am I right? And then when a developer, future developers buy the new plots of land, they they will have they will surely want to increase price because mm. uh, as time goes on, you know, due to inflation and you know real estate prices going up, GST, GST, GST. right? <laughs> so as when basically what uh, Tembusu Grand is is that you have first mover advantage. Mm, right? Right? Correct. So if you already bought Tembusu Grand or if you're planning to buy Tembusu, a unit in Tembusu Grand, yeah. so basically the development itself has a first mover advantage. So yeah. meaning to say that uh, having Tembusu Grand the, being the first in that vicinity, mm-hmm. so they are entering the market at a pretty uh, low base price. Yeah. So when you see that there's new land, uh, uh, new land sale, right? So there's going to be new developments. So for sure developers they're going to make money. They're not going to sell way lower than what's uh, being uh, launched right now. Yep. So definitely, they're going to go, they're going to launch at a higher price. Yeah. So for those who already bought in uh, Tembusu Grand or planning to right now, yeah. so this is actually a good opportunity la, for yeah. you. Yep. Mm. So if you compare like in future sales, you're buying at a discounted price basically. Mm. Right. Correct. Correct. Right. Right. Waiting for the, angle, yeah, yeah. like holding a baby, waiting for the, for the, for the land to mature. Yeah. And mm. once you sell it, it's gonna good good profit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next up, exit strategy. So uh, particularly for freehold developments within D15. So especially those who have actually bought into the continuum or planning to buy continuum. So you can see that uh, your neighboring developments around, especially for one Amber and the Esther, for the past 10 years, they are actually doing really well. So one thing about freehold, right? Generally the buyers or the residents there will be, will definitely hold for the longer term, mm. unlike like uh, staying in a ninety nine years this whole development lah. So you you can see within the past ten years, right? It's already doing really well. So can you imagine if you actually hold it further, like twenty to thirty years down the road? Yeah, oh, you, who knows, you, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Over, yeah. overrun your your ninety nine lease here counterparts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Of course, yeah. Ten years, ten years for for I think for a home stay, ten years is pretty short time. So I believe that it's very easily you can stay twenty years. Mm. Over, yeah, and then yeah. your profit is gonna be way better than that. Yeah. yeah. So next up, we have the Paya Leba Air Base transformation. So uh, with the works of Paya Leba Air Base Transformation that's happening right now, uh, so this particular air base is looking to be replaced with residential units and commercial units. So we are talking about, okay, so to give some perspective, uh, so Paya Leba Air Base and surrounding industrial areas around the area, right, is equivalent to five times of Topayo Town. Eh. Five times five of times, Topayo? Eh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, then that, I heard right. There's hundred and fifty thousand new homes to be built. Eh? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. a combine of the size of Pongo and Sengkang. Eh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you now go yeah. Pongo and Sengkang peak hour. We go and try. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of houses that's there. A lot, there no. a lot of people there. Oh there, my there. gosh! Yeah. So you can can you imagine the the potential tenant and the potential new buyers that mm. is gonna buy in. buy into the area. Right? Correct. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And not only that, because uh, with commercial and industrial around the area, right? So it actually gives a lot of 
uh, employment opportunities. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Which it also equates to like more tenants. You know, mm. people wanting if you were going to use it as an investment vehicle for your your property, you can rent out. Yep. You know, and there'll be so many tenants. You know, looking forward to rent your place mm. for you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so in conclusion, basically we are not highlighting which project is better than another. Basically, we are just analyzing to make a so-called review so that uh, viewers out there like yourself can make a more informed decision. Basically, uh, you, you, you can assess um, kind of a rough assessment uh, looking at this video and you can you know, take a look at what, which condo will Probably meet like your entice you mm. la. meet your needs better. You needs like needs. Uh, yeah, if mm. you if you are a family you know focused person, you want to spend money on your family and have a nice home, go for the continuum. You know that's my just my opinion la. It's mm. up to you eventually. But uh, if you want to use it more of an investment, you want to consider maybe Grand Dunman or or Tembusu Grand. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. It, ultimately, yeah. it's ultimately, just based yeah. on your needs la, right. and your preferences. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's best to consult. Professionals, mm. you know, because each person is different. Yes. Each person is different. Yeah. So each uh, us as uh, realtors in in Singapore industry, we can help you analyze, help mm. you uh, take a look at your financials, your plan, your future strategy, your real estate strategy in the front, and uh, your asset progression, basically, right? Mm. Yeah. So basically, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So we have done quite a fair bit of analysis as well. So if you want to know more, do feel free to actually reach out to us. Go ahead All and right. reach out to us soon. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.